Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a general career and finance reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I'm just going to ask that while I'm doing this reading, you guys go ahead and give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, comment and share if and only if that's something that you like to do. And don't forget um, to ring that notification bell if you guys want to get updates when I upload any new information. And lastly, I just want to thank you guys for listening. You guys are awesome. I love you. My Sagittarians, you guys always sort of show up um, with, with liking and um, watching my videos. So I love you guys. Thank you. I really appreciate you being a part of this journey with me. So without further ado, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Let's go ahead and get into this reading. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What messages do we have for general career and finance? For Sagittarius, January 2020. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, January 2020. Right. Temperance card. Mm, page of Cups. I'll leave it there. Six of Cups, the Lovers, Knight of Cups. Interesting reading, Sag. Ace of Cups. I love this. Whoa! What an awesome read. Whoa! Sagittarius, look at you guys. All right, your overall energy is absolutely amazing. Here you've got the Ten of Cups. This is ultimate happiness. This is some huge blessing from the universe. Your career, your finances, your love life, relationships, everything is going to be balanced out because you guys have done the work. You set your eye on the prize. You didn't stop. You cut down any obstacle that came your way. Okay, you may have been dealing with an Air, another Aries Leo Sagittarius. You may have had to sort of dethrone this person, a boss, walk away from a person, okay, or a relationship or a job, okay, or some sort of creative endeavor or some sort of business opportunity or something that was actually really, really toxic for you. Although it did have a lot of prospect for money and finance, but I see you guys taking that risk and coming out completely on top. Sagittarius, you guys show up in your own reading, flat center in the middle, smack dab in the middle. I love that. This is you guys being you. This is you guys doing everything right. This is you manifesting your goals and your desires. This is the universe telling you January 2020, Sag, is going to be awesome for you. You are also on a divinely guided journey. Your angels, your ancestors, your loved ones who have passed have been um, all around you and are supporting you in whatever it is that you want to do. And I feel like you guys know exactly what it is you want to do. The Page of Cups is showing up in your surroundings, as in maybe there are children, um, maybe your children who have sort of been taking from you or taking some of your energy. But I feel like that situation is going to fix itself. Okay, there also could have been people that were offering you or need to or are offering you apologies, which is also going to propel you forward. And I'm also getting that there were people, there were kind of like snakes in the grass. You maybe were around people that weren't, that were a little bit disingenuous or hadn't quite developed the maturity or didn't have their business plan in place and it came out sort of as negative or trickster type energy, okay? It could be somebody from your past, but I am getting this might have something to do with your children or it might have to do with children, like maybe doing daycare or some sort of service that involves children or some sort of social work that you were dealing with some real tricky, disingenuous energies. I feel like there are apologies that are necessary that will most likely be coming in, okay? But you are being a little bit held back. Again, it could be a reunion with somebody from your child or from the past or something having to do with children okay but what I do like about the six of cups because it does actually speak to a very balanced and loving relationship but there does need to be some sort of apology to bring that on and to clear this sort of block okay that apology could come from you guys or it may have to come from somebody else What's in your foundation is the lover's card. This is Gemini energy. There's loads of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy though all over this reading, Sag. So either you guys have that in your chart or you guys are dealing with, you know, with that in your chart. The lover's card is Gemini energy, but it's also, it's all about making some sort of huge decision. 
And I feel like, you know, maybe you kind of wanted to put off making a decision, but the decision you realize had to be made, okay? And since we have the page and the Knight of Cups coming out in reverse, I'm getting that somebody was lying to you. And I feel like you really saw through that and you were like, you know, you kind of dealt with that energy in your own way by taking the middle ground, by focusing on yourself, by healing yourself, by moving forward, by sort of ignoring the fact that, you know, everybody around you kind of sucked at that moment or, you know, wasn't sort of supporting you or helping you move towards, you know, a better place, okay? And it has to do, it might have to do with some of you, it might be your children. Healing a situation with your children and that is also going to heal your financial situation and or your career, or maybe that you guys work with children. But the lovers in reverse is kind of like not wanting to make a decision, but the decision was made, and you were like, you know what, that's just the way things are. Taking a really good, cold, hard, intellectual look at the situation and moving forward. In your past, I have the Knight of Cups in the reverse. This is my player card. This is somebody who basically only looks out for himself, probably promised you, you know, the world and the moon and the stars, but turns out they were doing that to everyone because they just wanted to get their own sort of gratification. Now, if this were anything but a career in finance reading, I would say that, you know, this was a lover, although it still really could, could be somebody that you thought you were in love with or loved that was really taking from you, or it could have been one of your children that you found out was stealing from you. Okay, or something like that. But there was somebody that was lying to you, somebody that was disingenuous, somebody that was only looking out for his or her own good. The good thing is that's in the past. The decision was made. I feel like you guys made that decision. All right, maybe, you know, there, was, there are apologies that are coming in or that need to come in. Um, but you're kind of like, you know that because you know where you stand. All right, but you're just feeling a little bit held back because maybe for some reason you have a loyalty to this person or to this situation because you know them from your past or they are related to you in some way. What's crowning you is the Ace of Cups. This is a huge blessing from the universe. This is love. This is you doing what you love. This is a new brand new beginning that is so fulfilling and emotionally like overwhelming, but in a good way for you. All right, and in your future there, Sag, I've got victory, okay? A lot of people that are going to be talking to you, a lot of people that are congratulating you. This is you completely victorious, successful, happy, moving forward, taking this situation, you know, taking the bull by the horns, moving away from whatever this energy was. And it may really, really may have to do with family. You may have had like a family feud. You may have found out like your children, and I keep getting this, and I don't really want to say it, but I feel like you find, you know, maybe you're one of your children you find out has like a drug or alcohol problem and that they were kind of functioning, you know, that they were functioning that way, but that, that they were really, you know, at the same time they were doing things that were, weren't right to support that habit. And that may even include stealing from you. Okay. But I do see, you know, you guys getting some sort of victory. I do see you working through this sort of emotional mess. Okay, because I, it is an emotional mess with the Page of Cups and the Knight of Cups in reverse. You know, this is just like, this is lying. This is like somebody just totally, completely disingenuous. But your overall energy is family, is love. So for some of you, this is going to be a family business, but this is, this is happiness and success. Ace of Cups, you know, Six of Wands, the Lovers, the Ten of Cups. You know, all of this is absolutely sort of gorgeous energy. Lots of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, though, around you. Okay. Some of you may be leaving a partner that you felt like you were, you know, felt like you were, that you were somehow bonded to or could be the parent of your children, okay, the father or mother of your children, but you realize sort of like actually were able to see, you know, see them for what they were, okay, and you were like, you know what, doesn't matter, even if we're soulmates or twin flames or whatever it is, you know, I think we are. I've got to move forward and I'm going to move on with all of the love in my heart, you know, with lots of love in my heart. So this is really nice energy, you guys. Although I do feel like there's some sadness, obviously, that's going along with this. Again, a family situation or, you know, a, could be a divorce for some of you or having to do with your children, but it's all going to work out in the end, Sag. Okay, let's go ahead and see what other messages. Door to spirit. That's 32, breaks down to a five, conflict, movement, fluctuation. But this is one of the most beautiful cards on earth. This is telling me here that spirit has sent you this blessing 
either you've already received it or you will receive it, that's going to bring you complete peace. Some of you are, are, are working with law of attraction. You guys are trying to manifest this peace and this victory, and Spirit is saying, yes, this is a divinely guided journey. This is yours. We are here to help you, okay? This is a beautiful reading, you guys. This is also some part of your spiritual path. Okay, it's, it's all part of your spiritual past, path, the lesson that you needed to learn in order to achieve this victory and bring about what it is that's best for you, Sagittarius, all right? So don't worry. So those of you also who are meditating, who are praying, all of those prayers are being answered, they're being heard, okay? And your angels and your spirit guides are working with you to bring this about, okay? Envy here. I do see that there is a bit of envy that you might have to deal with that because people are gonna see you kind of like this phoenix from rising from the ashes or maybe they didn't even know about your emotional state and the things that were going on in this relationship. Again, some of you might have a family business because this is a career in finance reading but there's so much cups energy. I, can't, I cannot divorce that from the fact that this is something that you're extremely emotionally attached to like a family member or a spouse. I'm, I see people being really quite envious of this victory that you have, okay? I feel like maybe some of you are getting a divorce from somebody that you've long wanted a divorce from and that all working out for you in the end and then some, like some of your other friends kind of feeling like that's what they want to do but they didn't actually have the gall, you know, or the balls to do it, excuse my language, okay? So you will experience a little bit of envy there or maybe, you know, like people saying, oh, you know, she always gets what she wants or he always gets, you know, what he wants. All right, just ignore it. Spirit saying ignore it and just recognize where, where that envy comes from, okay? It comes from people's own inner conflicts, feelings, feelings of inadequacy, etc. okay? The keeper of the scale, scales, fairness and balance. Eight and three adds up to 11. I feel like, you know, you were, again, you were above board. This page of cups in reverse, this knight of cups in reverse, whoever or whatever the situation that you were dealing with that was kind of lying or trying to like hoodwink you or whatever, all of this is going to be balanced out and that's going to lead to your victory. And then there's a brand new blessing coming your way. You continuing to open up your heart to love and to what, what's important to you. Sag is going to bring you so much wealth, abundance, success, January 2020. The Desert Prince, survival and false promises. I love that because in this message, this is one and nine adds up to a 10. So we've got two tens on the table, which talks about an ending, a very, very happy ending. False promises, that's this Knight of Cups and this Page of Cups in reverse. Somebody was making false promises to you, either somebody you were financially dependent on or somebody that you were giving a lot of resources to. It could also be a job, it could have been, a, you know, it could have been the board at your job, whatever it was, or it was children. Somehow this was affecting your career and your finance and that's coming to an end. The Desert Prince is saying you're going to do much more than survive. He comes to help you. And look at that. We've got this big giant cat here. Strength. That's Leo energy. You know, you've got, you know, he's coming to help you to cut out whatever doesn't serve you. All right. I love that we also have a full moon in the background and we also have the pyramids. So again, the importance, you know, coming underneath the door to spirit that this is also divinely ordained. So don't worry, you're not alone on this journey. You know, spirit's got your back, your angels, your ancestors, your loved ones who have passed. Everybody's working towards this victory for you in January 2020, Sag. And I feel like, you know, everything's gonna come to light, but you know, you're gonna get what you deserve and that's something, that's this success, that's the six of wands. That's applause, that's applause and that's recognition. So, you know, that's pretty awesome. All right, additional messages for Leo. Sorry, it's not Leo. I want to say Leo because I was just looking at that cat. Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Yep, and that's what I think you've done. I think that's how you've been able to manifest this victory. And that's why that ace of cups, because like no matter what's happened, no matter what false promises you were given, no matter if it's your children or it was somebody that you really love and that you're emotionally attached to, you know what? You decided to commit yourself to seeing the good in all things. And that's helping you move forward, onward and upward, Sag. I have envy coming out again. Interesting. Interesting. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. 
really, really interesting. Envy coming out twice. Okay, I don't know if there was like a sense of victimology that was going on with you, like feeling like you were the victim of this, which very well, you know, yes, you were, okay? But I feel like you were able to work through that. And once you were able to see that you're the same as everybody else, but your challenges were a little bit different, that's bringing you your victory here, Sag. All right, let's go ahead and see what final message we have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Very, very interesting. You know, the, I said Leo too. Maybe you guys want to take a look at the Leo reading because they're, they had this same card come out in the same exact position. All right, so there might, be, there might be a message for you guys in that Leo reading. Aphrodite, inner goddess. Awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. I love that falling on top of the door to, door to spirit. It's now, Sag, it's time to focus on you. These charlatans, this page of cups, and this knight of cups in reverse, okay, the people that were, like, making you false promises, once you kind of walk past that, move past that, focus on yourself. Again, this red hair, Aphrodite, I'm really seeing... You know, I'm seeing the strength and that fire that you have. And look here, two, look here, you have two doves coming in as peace signs. You guys will get the peace that you've been looking for. That's coming through this victory, okay? Everything's going to balance out. It's going to be fair. This envy, whether it was you or other people, okay, your challenges, you know, are different than others, but it didn't matter or doesn't matter to you. You have the support of the divine you're moving towards exactly where you need to go. And that's, again, I want you to look here at this Ten of Cups energy, Ace of Wands. Huge blessing, huge, huge blessing that's coming to you that's going to bring you balance in your career and your finance, but also something having to do with your relationship, something that you guys are very emotionally attached to. But do make sure that you enjoy life. Make sure you take care of yourself and make sure you appreciate the divinity within you. Some of you are healers, okay? Some of you are light workers. And I feel like that message is, is very particularly for you. And I feel like you are oftentimes comparing yourselves to others or kind of like, oh, I've got such bad luck or this always happens to me, etc. X, Y, Z. You know what Spirit's saying? You know what? Everybody goes through this. It's sort of the natural lessons that we have to learn in this lifetime. Don't worry, though. Your victory is coming. Everything is going to be balanced out, Sag. I love you guys so much. Please give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, comment, and share. If and only if that's something that you like to do. And don't forget to ring that notification bell. If you want to get updates when I upload any new information. I love you guys. Thank you for listening.